hate. They say I ain't safe cause I cuss a little bit. But you're the only judge that I need and that's it. They always in my business cause they say I backslid. They read the Holy Bible but they ain't applying it. So Holy Spirit activate. If you do it right now that would be great. I ain't trying to smack this chick in the face. Don't you see me down here trying to change my way. So Holy Spirit activate. You better do it Lord. Holy Spirit activate. You better get them Lord. <laughs> Before I get them Lord. Hey. Hey. Better do it, Lord. You better get him, Lord. Before I get him, Lord. Hey. 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 They say I ain't safe because I cuss a little bit. But you're the only judge that I need and that's it. They always in my business cause they say I backslid. They read the Holy Bible but they ain't applying it. So Holy Spirit activate. If you do it right now that would be great. I ain't trying to smack this chick in the face. Don't you see me down here trying to change my way. So Holy Spirit activate. You better do it Lord. Holy Spirit activate. You better get them Lord. <laughs> Before I get them Lord. Hey. Better do it Lord. Holy Spirit you better get them, Lord. Holy Spirit, before I get them, Lord. Activate. Hey. Activate. Okay. Holy Spirit. Activate. Oh, no. Holy Spirit. Activate. Okay. Holy Spirit. Activate. Okay. Activate. Okay. Hey. Hey. They say I ain't safe because I cuss a little bit. But you're the only judge that I need and that's it. They always in my business cause they say I backslid. They read the Holy Bible but they ain't applying it. So Holy Spirit activate. If you do it right now that would be great. I ain't trying to smack this chick in the face. Don't you see me down here trying to change my way. So Holy Spirit activate. You better do it Lord. Holy Spirit activate. You better get them Lord. <laughs> Before I get them Lord. Activate. Hey. 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 They say I ain't safe cause I cuss a little bit But you're the only judge that I need and that's it They always in my business cause they say I backslid They read the Holy Bible but they ain't applying it The Holy Spirit activate If you do it right now, that would be great What's up, nasty besties? Hey everybody, welcome, welcome Hey, Holy Spirit, activate. Yes, there is a new emoji available for all nesty besties and owlets. All the members, Holy Spirit, activate. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're activating the Holy Spirit and uh, we are going to be dealing with a cheese loser today. Actually, two of them, two of them. So <laughs> you're here for sophisticated dragging. I think I think I can. Uh, oh, yeah, I think I can do that. <laughs> I don't like to get too down and dirty, but I will make my point. That is for certain. OK, ladies and gentlemen, I want to first let you know that you do not need your sports bra for this stream. It is not needed okay he told us he's been telling us to calm our tits how rude how rude but uh no we're not keeping them calm anymore no you want to come for mama owl we're not calming any tits around here okay calm your tits haters you all suck it you all suck it how about you suck it Salah. Thank you so much, Timu BBJ, for gifting a membership. That is so generous of you. And looks like Otters and Elephants got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, mm -hmm. careful, she has loyal nesties. I mean, I do. You guys are the best for real. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, shall we? Uh, shall we get the the first loser out of the uh, out of the way first? Okay. All right. All right. Let's do that. Uh, Salah, I know you're listening. Okay, so now's the time to pay attention. Okay, are you with me? All right. All right. 
<laughs> I have things to say. I have a lot of things to say. Okay. Let me see who's in the nest first. I'd like to talk to my nesty besties first, I think. All right. Who do we have? Who do we have? We have Jen Shah Hater, Lindsay, Tragically Delicious, Angel of Vitality, Boaz B, Creepy Corners in the Nest. Oh, yeah, I know that. That's from Mortal Kombat. Finish him. <laughs> May Fay, Mrs. Jones. All right, all right. Yes. We got Marwa in the Nest. Welcome, Marwa. As always, Alexis2002 is in the nest. Yeah, we got Shayna. We got Sachi Bell. Welcome, as always, Sachi Bell. Human being is in the nest. Hasn't seen any of this. Waiting to watch it with y'all, inshallah. Well, yeah, we will. You know, we'll get through it. You know, we're not going to spend too much time on it. But he certainly didn't spend much time making that video, did he? There wasn't a lot of effort, like at all, you know? Like, we could have used a little more effort, I think. I think. Yeah. We got Not Your Average Old Lady in the nest. Yeah. Love a midday live. Me too. Me too. I, I Hopefully it's your lunch hour or you just need, you're just getting to work and you just need that, like, ugh. <laughs> get me through my day or you're winding down for the day depending where you are in the world i'm happy to have everybody here we've also got alien kato couch potato how's it going spooky von sweets panda pondu grandma spud bud <laughs> stephanie's in the nest sansa cooks is in the nest uh, if you scroll up a little bit, you'll find a link to her latest video. She just put it out about that horrific Chinese buffet. Oh, who eats pasta at a buffet? At a Chinese buffet? Excuse me? Pasta? And what kind of sauce was on that pasta? You'll see. It was just all bleh. <laughs> was bleh. Oh, oh, oh. Who's joining us? We got one clout. Okay, welcome one clout to the nest. Come on in. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got Omi Omi in the nest. We got Wildflower. Joanna Freedom is in the nest. We got who else? Who else? All right, we got Simu BBJ, obviously. Jennifer Leffler, hello, hello. My pooches. Thank God are being very good right now. Inshallah, God willing, it will stay that way. We've spent some time outside this morning in the freezing cold. So hopefully, hopefully they're resting now. Hopefully. Oh my goodness. Miss T, Miss T, thank you for joining membership. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, welcome. Oh, and you join Nesty Bestie. You're going to find a whole lot of content there for you. Welcome. Welcome. Awesome to have you. I was waiting. I was waiting. <laughs> you need you needed the uh, Holy Spirit activate bad today, Stephanie. Okay. Glad we, yeah, we did it right at the beginning. If you need a little. We got Swamp Duck in the nest. Yeah. Count Cracula my way. <laughs> my way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. daisy jones if i didn't already say hi caramel whisperer yeah better get him lord that's exactly right official nigel who mm -hmm. one-eyed flow oh my goodness one-eyed flow welcome to owlette welcome wow Yeah, yeah, we got Moz in the nest. Just a gamer, just a gamer. Da da, Jesse. Hey, you never get to catch a live. Got something to listen to while at work. Awesome, awesome. Love that. Love that. Joanna Freedom's in the nest. Otters and elephants. Did I? How did I put a bee in Salas bonnet? I think he's very emotional right now. 
I think he's without his lovely wife, you know, his beautiful, lovely wife, you know, stunning as usual. And he's feeling very emotional. I think that's what it is. And here's my beautiful wife, Chantal, is stunning as usual. So I think that's what he's going through. He's going through a tough time. And, um, you know, it seems like he doesn't really know how to handle his emotions. So, um, you know, he's taking it out on other people. That's okay. That's okay. You know, Salah, as Muslims, we don't celebrate Christmas. But thank you for bringing me this gift this year. I do appreciate it. You are appreciated. Mm -hmm. You are. <laughs> Deborah Fleming's in the nest. Summer flowers. ATL Scorpio. Yeah. Cali Cat. Mm hmm. <laughs> Thank you for putting stunning <laughs> in the chat. Yeah. Oh, House of Hannibal is here. I don't even. There he is. You have the 90s Crip Walk music for your new subs. <laughs> oh my God. That's hilarious. Hey, I spend a lot of time choosing my Santa. music. I really do. Let's see who we got. Island Girl. Island Girl 56. Welcome. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got Dot. Hey, hey. Hey, Dot. Granny Noodles. Hey, Chaos. Hey. All right. We got Nisi Nisi. Oh, House of Hannibal. House of Hannibal's joining. My goodness, thank you. It is, isn't it? <laughs> it is kind of, I didn't even think of that. It is, it is. Oh my. Yeah, it is. It is. Welcome. I'm I'm honored to have you. House of Hannibal. Oh my goodness. Official Nigel who? Official Nigel who? Welcome. Welcome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Welcome, official Nigel. Welcome, welcome. All right. I might, it might take me a while to get through the chat, so I think we'll just get started. So hello to everybody. Juror number six. Oh, yeah, that too. Music reminds me of Soul Train. Yes. <gasps> that would be adorable. The Owlets and Besties. Yeah, making the train. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do like, like, old, like, soul music, r and I'm a hip-hop fan from way back. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. All right. Hello to everybody else. I uh, I hope I haven't missed anyone. I probably have. It's not personal whatsoever. Okay. Hey, Charlotte. Yeah. Yeah. Charlotte, go ahead and lurk. Anyone lurking today? Hey, Marianne. Totally get it. You know, if you're at work and you just want to listen, or you have to just listen. Don't worry about it. I know you're there and I appreciate you being there. Maggie Flowers, I did enjoy the free promotion from my number one fan. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> You're from way back when I'd flow. Ah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Millifred. Millifred. Millifred 93. Hi. Welcome to Owlette. Welcome. Welcome, welcome to all the new members. I really appreciate you guys. Yeah, we, there's content up for you, so go check it out. Go check it out. All right, so shall we get started, shall we? Okay, I think we shall. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so first, Salah, this is for you, okay? This is for you. This is for you.
Yes. <laughs> Be respectful, please. Choo Choo, welcome to Owlette Choo Choo. Okay, so yes, Salah, that was for you. Okay, now there's a reason. There's a reason that I have the American flag behind me today and why we're playing the Star Spangled Banner. There's a, there's a very good reason for that, okay? Now, ooh, for me, for me, oh, let me make sure we can hear everything okay. And, okay, are we good? I think so. I don't want to, I don't want you guys to miss anything, you know? Goodness, let me make sure. Hmm. All right, all right. All right, all right. So, Salah, you have noticed that I've been trying to get your attention ever since you met Chantal, right? Have you noticed that? I think now it took long enough, Salah, but I think now you've noticed me. And that's all I've really wanted this whole time. Welcome, government-issued falafel. Welcome, welcome. Been trying to get your attention for over a year now, Salah. Over a year. Now you finally noticed me, and now it's time for me to make my move. Salah. Are you listening, Salah? Yes, yeah, Salah. You don't need to go with Foodie Beauty to get papers. She can't get them for you. I know you had your you had your mark set on Canada. But where, where does everyone really want to go? Do you really want to go to Canada? What's even the Canadian national anthem? If you heard it, would you even recognize it? I don't know that I would. But everyone in the world, just about, just about, I don't want to be egotistical, you know, just about, knows the Star Spangled Banner. Everyone recognizes this flag. Everyone. And... If you were to obtain papers in the United States, wouldn't that be far better for you? Now, I know, I know. You joined Tinder. You set your location for Canada, but you don't know anyone in Canada. You don't have any family there. There's nothing going on in Canada at all. But you set it for that. And you saw the, you saw the absolute desperation in Chantal, where she actually put her phone number her phone number out for public consumption. You didn't even have to match with her on Tinder. Anyone could have called her. Anyone could have texted her. And you saw that desperation and you jumped. You jumped, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And then within a couple of days, you were in love and uh, you were going to get married. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. now that's good for you. That's good for you for what your ultimate goal is. You know, you need someone who's gullible, not very bright, insecure. That's important. They have to be insecure about themselves. 
so that you can manipulate them, right? And, you know, maybe appeared to have a little bit of money, right? And probably bragged a little bit about their YouTube channel and how much money they've made in the past. The best isn't the present though, is it? No, it's not, it's not. And I think you found that out quickly. You saw those YouTube paychecks coming through and they weren't a lot, were they? They barely covered her food orders every day. Barely. Not much left over. Hmm. Okay, so maybe that's for now. She's not making much now. When she goes back to Canada, we'll set it up. She's going back for her health. We'll create a whole new arc, a health arc. She'll go back for medical attention. And I will follow her, right? Is that what you thought? I'll just follow her to Canada as her loving husband. Husband. Right? You're the husband, right? Right? <laughs> we can see medical results. We can see lab results. We could see the inside of Ch We could see the inside of Chantal. I mean, really, and not to be gross, but we have, okay? But we can't see a marriage certificate. Can you explain that? Oh my gosh, KT. KT just gifted 20 Are You Serious <laughs> memberships. Holy moly. Thank you, KT. Wow. <laughs>
like she's on the edge of death. You know, that's what she's kind of been portraying, that she's in a dire medical situation. And as her loving husband, I need to be with her. I have to, right? So it seems like you guys are kind of working on that. Because otherwise, I'm not really sure why you're still hanging around, unless you're just still waiting for December's YouTube paycheck, because Chantal will receive hers on the 23rd, no, 22nd, 22nd or 23rd. So Friday, probably. So are you waiting until the next paycheck? Has she been promising that this period is going to have, have high ad revenue? So she's going to have a better paycheck finally? Has she promised you that? Green Sparkles, welcome to membership. Welcome. Is that what you're waiting for, Salah? The November paycheck? Hmm. Is that what you're waiting for? I don't think it's going to be that great. I don't think so. I don't think so. So I don't know if you're aware of this, Salah. Okay. Now, still, I'm still, I'm still shooting my shot for you. Um, <laughs> so Chantal, I'm shooting my shot for you, Salah. Okay. So just, just, just keep in mind, keep in mind that, you know, this, all of this discussion has a reason and a point. Okay. I'm not just rambling kind of like you did in your video. I'm not doing that. I have a point. I have a point that I'm making. Okay. Please post the link to join. Let's see. This should do it. Let's see if that puts it in. There you go. There's a link for membership if you'd like to join. And if you're not able to locate where to join, that link should help out. And thanks so much. Thanks in advance. So you've probably already, you know, lost. You don't have like a, a good um, span of, of attention, right, Salah? So just, okay, come back now. Come back, all right? Join me again, all right? We are going to watch this video, Mrs. H. Yes, yes, <laughs> we are. Do I have any extra sports bras for Salah? Good point, traveling teacher. Maybe he's the one that should calm his chesticles, right, right? So, Salah, I don't know if you have looked into the requirements for a spousal visa to go to Canada. Have you looked into that at all? Because she has to make enough money to support herself and you. I think it's for three years. Canadians can correct me. I, I've been so deep into Kuwaiti laws and Canadian laws. There's so many Canadians who are here with us that they can just simply verify if you've looked into it. Did you know she has a bankruptcy that has not been discharged, that she has to pay back thousands of dollars? Did you know that she has a tax liability, a national federal tax liability, because she didn't pay her federal income taxes for a couple of years in a row? Were you aware of that? Does that sound financially sound to you for her to bring you into Canada? I don't think the immigration department is going to see it as a viable option for you. Therefore, therefore, I am shooting my shot at you, Salah. I am. I am. Please consider. Please consider. I finally got your attention, and now that I have it, I have to let you know, I don't think that Chantal is right for you. I think I can do more for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No disrespect to um, Star Spangled Banner, but you know, okay, we're just we're gonna cut that short a little bit. All right. So here's what I'm offering. Okay. Okay. I love you, Chantal. Welcome, Alex Nixon. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you, Green Sparkles. I'm, I'm thrilled to have you. Thank you. You just threw up in your mouth a little bit. I know, me too. Me too. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of white knuckling it like, okay, yeah, I'm extending the offer. I am. I am. Okay. Mm -hmm. So here's what I'm offering. Okay. You can make a lump sum payment. All right, that is technically illegal, all right, but I am an owl, so I'm not really a citizen, but I am, but I am at the same time, okay, 
All right. Of course you're invited, Marwa. Oh my gosh. We're going to party like it's 1999. If Salah comes to the States, forget about it. If you could come here for New Year's Eve, Salah, we could all meet in Times Square in New York City. What do you think? What do you think? All right. We're getting too far ahead of ourselves. All right. So a lump sum payment, I'll let you determine the amount because I don't want to undercut myself. So I'll let you throw out the first number. Okay. Now I know Chantel paid you a lump sum before she went to Kuwait, but she wasn't seeking Kuwaiti residency. So that was kind of backwards, wasn't it? A little bit backwards. So, I mean, you should be paying her to get Canadian residency, shouldn't you? But I guess that's what you saw in her. You saw the desperation and thought, hmm, <laughs> Katie's putting a bride in the chat. <laughs> I'm too good for Salah Christie. No, 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 no. No one is. No one is. He is an example. He is an example of um, the type of Arab man that I truly have never met in my life. Truly. Truly. But I think there's other things that he can offer. I do. I do. Just money, mostly. Your brainstorming reception food, Sansa? If you would be the caterer. I would be, th oh my God, can you guys imagine if Sansa Cooks is the caterer? Psh, we're eating good, everybody. We are eating good. She's making Jamaican black cakes. She's making oh, psh, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of stuff. You want to be a flower girl? Alexis, you're going to be, yeah, you're definitely going to be one of the head flower girls. Of course, of course. Creepy Corner wants to make all the decorations. All right. Yeah, psh, this would be beautiful. Yes. Now, right. Exactly. Um, Marianne, that's right, Marianne. You know, Salah is pretty picky about his food. So he will probably be looking for something more like dino nuggets. I think so. You know, this could be our honeymoon suite, Salah. Look at all those dino nuggets. Don't those look so appealing? So tasty? If that's what I got to do to lure you, I'll do what I can. I'll do what I have to do. We got a bunch of white rice. Okay, now I'm not a big fan of white rice. I try to limit my carbs, but you know, I don't know if you're into it or not. We have Julia. Okay, you are going to bring Julia with you from Kuwait to the States. Okay, you're not going to put her on the street. You're going to vaccinate her. You're going to get her spayed. And then you're going to bring her to the States. That has to happen. Okay. Chicken nuggies for life. Exactly, Camby. Exactly. Yeah, I get all the chicken nuggies. Now, these images were created by Wurschneffer, who's in the nest all the time, all the time. And this was for their anniversary. But this can also be for our honeymoon. Okay. The dino nuggies. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a hamster on the bed, too, in one of those. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I got that for you. Okay, we got that all we got we got that all taken care of. The food is, is squared away. Okay. Now <laughs> Julia is our queen. That's yes. Julia needs to be Julia's number one priority. Okay. Julia and Harry, if Harry is even still around. Okay. All right. Otters and elephants, you better have a good reason for objecting to this. A good reason. A legally viable reason. <laughs> okay all right so you give me a lump sum like I said you determine the amount because I don't want to undercut myself I don't want to ask for like 10k if you really were going to give me 50k you know we're talking about USD by the way not dinar and I do not I do know how to do the conversions so you're not going to confuse me all right I I know okay all right here's what I have for you okay if you're not looking at the screen you might want to glance right now okay here's what I have for you Mm -hmm. This could be yours. This could be yours. Mm -hmm. That could be yours, Salah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. 
So this is now, Salah, you probably already know what this is, okay? And anyone who has obtained this legally, I have nothing but the utmost respect for you, truly. Anyone who comes into the United States in a legally viable and uh, ethical way, I have the most respect for. I do, okay? You may already know what this is, Salah. You may already know. This is called a green card, okay? I've already put your picture on there so you can picture it yourself if this was you. Country of birth, Kuwait, okay? Now, if anyone from a federal agency happens to be watching, uh, just notice that there is an owl with, with glasses on there and this is not serious, is on the top and bottom, okay? Okay, I in no way mean to... Um, um, sully anything regarding the United States reputation. Okay, all right. We just we just got to make it a more attractive to them to make you know so you can see it as a possibility, a possibility. You're gonna stick with New Zealand? Okay, Shelley. I guess. I guess. <laughs> Pizza's looking for a place with bus service. I can't help him with that. No, no, no. He's Canadian. He can stay in Canada. Salah is truly looking for. A foreign woman to uh, to latch on to and I'm telling you Chantal is not the one now Chantal I'm sure you're listening okay probably even more than Salah is I love the Statue of Liberties in the chat thank you thank you it's very patriotic feeling isn't it my goodness <laughs> come on down Salah yes May Anderson exactly come on down you got it you got it <laughs> you're looking for a way to come in Salah. i could be the ticket i could be now chantal if you are listening okay you're probably seething with jealousy and hatred towards a little owl on the screen does that make sense does that make sense now listen chantal let's face it okay let's face it you say you're 39 years old i'm sorry I know, I know people say that you are and that has been confirmed, but how you've been looking lately, I'm thinking more like 57. No offense. You know, I'm just, I'm just keeping it real with you. Okay. No offense. No offense intended. You look like you're 57. I don't know what happened on the plane. I have no idea. I don't know. Something happened. I mean, you were already looking pretty bad, but now it's like, oof, oof. Yeah. So Chantal, just relax, okay? Take a deep breath. Deep breath in and out. Okay, we don't want the blood pressure rising. We don't want the blood sugar rising. If you have the Big Turk candy bars close by, don't grab for them. Don't. They're very bad for you right now, Chantal. I know you don't care, but don't you still have to stay alive for Salah? Because if he's going to come to the States to be with, are you serious, the owl... You better get to Kuwait first before he leaves. You better. You better try to get there ASAP. <laughs> Shall we get into Salah's video? Shall we? I think we shall. Chantal aged him like bad milk chow mein. Mm, he sh boy, you know, she can really suck the life out of somebody, can't she? She really can. She really can. All right, let's get, uh, let's get started. I, I, this will be transformative, absolutely transformative. I have several things in his video I would like to comment on that will be happening. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a good first attempt at a reaction, I guess. It was a good first attempt. Um, I'm not sure that you really understand what you're getting yourself into, you know, because the reaction channels, we do this all the time. This is just another day for us, that you're really stepping out of your comfort zone. And let's see how much it shows. Does it show that you're out of your comfort zone? Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Wow. So um, here's where we're starting off. That's where we're starting. Yikes. 
Okay, now listen, I have offered, I've offered to you, by the way, that offer is rescinded. I'm no longer going to be a creative or any kind of consultant for your channel. Okay, this is a straight up mess. Just this, just this intro is an absolute mess. All right, well, I mean, really, do we have to go in any farther than that? Hello guys, what's up everybody? I just wanna inform you that I'm not into a drama things, but this hypocrisy is out of control. I just wanted to point it out for you all. First of all, I gonna do it with camera off, just like the whole shit actors doing it day over day. And then let's get into it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? The whole what do it after day after day? The whole what? The what? What? What is? What is he calling? What is he saying? First of all, I gonna do it with camera off, just like the whole shit actors doing it day over day. Who, what is he trying to say? Reactor, but not like. Is he is he saying ish actor? I have never taken acting classes, Salah. Okay, I don't know what this acting has to do. If you think I'm an actress or something, I have no idea where you're going with this. But um, yeah, I don't I don't know. I'm not an actor of any sort, let alone an ish actor. I really don't even know what you're saying here, but... And then let's get into Oof. it. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Wait. I mean, my gosh. Are you gonna... You put a graphic up on the screen. Are you gonna give your audience time to read it? I mean, what is going on? This is already a... Oh, a hot-ass mess. Hypocrisy. Okay, and this is from HelpfulProfessor.com. All right. The definition, hypocrisy is the practice of claiming to possess certain beliefs, values, or feelings, but behaving in a way that contradicts those claims. Um, Salah, could you give me an example of that? Could you give me an example of how what I say are my beliefs, my values, and my feelings contradict my behavior? Could you give me one example of that? Because if you're going to, if you're going to make a whole PowerPoint presentation about hypocrisy, you should have a couple of examples lined up. Okay, you should. It involves presenting a false appearance of virtue or goodness while concealing real character traits or inclinations. Now, Salah, I don't know how long you've been watching my channel, probably since the very first day I started. I mean, I really don't like to think that, you know, I don't like to say, oh, you guys watch me. I don't, you know, I don't really care if you do or not. I'm still going to do my thing regardless. But if you have been watching, then you know that I'm myself. I'm completely myself. Because if I don't bring my authentic self to this channel, then what good is it? You know, people would see right through it. When people are fake... Like your acting, your acting skills, right? The script that you're given and how you recite the script and how forced and fake it sounds. Yeah, people can tell that. I just speak from the heart and people can tell I'm authentic. All right. Essentially, it's saying one thing but doing another. Okay. Um, examples. Here are the examples that Salah has given to us. Preaching environmentalism while wasting resources. <laughs> advocating for environmental conservation, but frequently using private jets for personal trips. Um, Salah, I haven't been on a private jet in many, many years, okay? And that was even before we knew about the impact it was having on the environment, okay? We didn't even know about it then. So I don't, I don't talk about um, environmental conservation while I'm taking um, a private jet across, you know, domestically, internationally. I know your wife isn't a very experienced international traveler. And, you know, I know she's not using private jets because she has to cram herself into the economy section. I get it. I get it. You know, not everyone can. But, um, yeah, so this doesn't really apply to me. What else you got? Publicly denouncing corruption while accepting bribes. <laughs> A politician speaks out against corruption, yet secretly accepts money for favors. Uh, I'm not a politician. Okay, I, I'm not sure where how this all comes into. Are you serious? How does this How does this come in? You just found a graphic online and you said good enough. Did you even read it? This right here, Salah, is going to be your first downfall to being a reaction channel. You have no attention to detail whatsoever. None. None. Zero. Okay, let's continue. 
and then let's get into it. Starting with the story, this moron she stole a video from my most recent live stream. <laughs> this moron. Okay, sir, sir, Salah, Salah. Okay, I am a lady. Okay, first, I'm a Muslima. I'm a female Muslim. Okay. You don't know me whatsoever. The fact that you can call a woman who is just like your sister, your aunt, your mother, God rest her soul, that you could call a woman, a Muslim woman that you don't even know, a moron, is very concerning to me. Very concerning. Chantal, have you seen Salah exhibit signs of him being a woman hater? Or disrespecting women in general because that's I'm already picking that up okay okay and she put it on her channel as a monetized video just for views and money you know without doing any edit nothing all right I'm not gonna go into what fair use is okay you can read it's it's a doctrine I am a US citizen it is a US doctrine um and it, it and YouTube does use that to decide if content has been quote unquote stolen, if it has been used and transformed into something that is not recognizable as the original content. So my first question, I love you, Shanta. <laughs> space puppy, welcome, welcome to the nest. My first question for you is if I stole your content and re uploaded it as as my own, why didn't I receive a copyright strike from you. Why? That's that's how we handle things. That's how we handle things in the real world, okay? That's how you handle it. If I stole your content, you should deal with it. You, it can be dealt with and my channel would suffer the consequences. So I would recommend going ahead and trying to put that through. Try Just try to put it through, okay? We'll see if it's effective, we'll see. You'll be notified if it is, okay? So give it a shot, see what happens. I think none. And after that, I made my own edit with many extra pictures for me with our pets. Yeah, so the very next day, okay, so I was watching his stream. It was a total bore fest. He put on some like Jason mask, a hockey mask. It was just a bunch of, you know, the usual weirdness, like Chantal being extra defensive in the chat, like blocking people who speak Arabic. <laughs> I see, I see where the insecurity comes in, okay? You you notice that in her right off the bat. And you're right, you're right. If she can't read it, blocked. <laughs> now, Chantal, all you have to do is is translate it. You know, you don't have to you don't have to knock off his potential viewers and subscribers, do you? I mean, you know, a little insecure. A little insecure. So I posted the video, okay? This was at the very end of his stream where people said, oh, can we see Julia? And he said, oh, sure, I'll go get Julia. And he went and got Julia and came back and sat down and played with her a little bit. And Salah, I don't know if you read the comments to my video. Did you read the comments? Because they were they were generally very positive, saying that you really do seem to like Julia and Julia seems very comfortable with you. So there was no detriment to you or your channel for me transforming that content to take out that short snippet out of what was what a three hour live stream. I made like a, oh, a four minute video. It says it right on the screen. I made a four minute video with just the animals showing people like, okay, the animals are still alive. alive. We have signs of life because we were all very concerned, you know? Because I don't know really what kind of person you are. So some of us were concerned that Julia would be back out on the street and Harry would be her first meal on the street, perhaps. You know, that was very concerning to most of us. So I did that, okay. The very next day, he puts out this video, our cute pets reveal. Now, this video that he put out, eight minutes long, I don't even know how he did that. I don't even know. But he used exactly the same shots and zoomed in just as much as I did. <laughs> now, 
I don't care. It's your content to begin with. I'm not going to copyright strike you, although I should check my notifications because the copyright match tool that YouTube has probably did notify me that our content matches and mine was posted first. And that's what they use to determine copyright, <laughs> basically. If there's a question about it, whoever posted it first owns it, even though it's your original content. I know you got to learn some rules, Salah, about playing this game. It's a, it's quite a game. You got to learn. Zoomed in the same amount. So I just, I just, you know, put up a little community post like, hey, you know, you're clearly having problems with creativity and originality. Clearly, this is an issue. And Chantal is not very creative or original. So if you are taking advice from her, I would advise, you know, probably back off from that. You know, she's not, not the best. Chicken a duck. This is the funniest thing to happen in Girl World for a long time. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, chicken a duck. I appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. Hey, you know, we needed something, right? We did. We needed something to happen. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. See, I all I I I also use your voice a lot for sound bites. A lot. Okay. Now, anyone who you know is rejoining after a couple of days or a week or so, we're keeping um, Plinko and Dice until the very end of the stream, so we don't lose the continuity of the stream. So hang out for that. So lacking originality and creativity so i made a create i made a uh, community post like hey if you need a consultant you know you could pay me a small fee i don't mind i'll give anyone you know some advice or help or tips if you know for whatever i can i don't know it all but i do know quite a bit okay i do so you apparently didn't like that was that what exactly was it that provoked you salah I'm very, very curious. What was it, Salah? Was it offering help? Was it insulting your creativity and lack of originality? What, what was it exactly? I made my own edit with many extra pictures for me with our pets. She has the nerve to call me out and said, You are welcome as Sultan Salah. If you need more ideas, hit me up. I would be glad to manage your channel for a small monthly fee. Like how hypocrisy you are, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, see, Salah, that's what you've also misinterpreted about um, reacting, okay? It's not just about yelling insults. Now, some channels do do that, I'll admit. Some do, okay? And if, if that's the level you want to be at, just shouting out random insults, I guess, I guess. You know, I don't know if you're going to be all that successful with that because you don't seem to realize how certain words should be used. And that is no shade against you not being a native English speaker. I used to teach English, so I do understand a lot of the a lot of the hurdles with English. I really do. I really do. So that's I've never knocked you on any of that, okay? I am surprised, however, that living with Chantal for a year, how your English has not improved. How is that possible? But it hasn't. But just shouting out hypocrisy isn't enough. It's not enough. You got to give examples. You have to illustrate why you're saying this word. Why the hypocrisy? And after I saw her channel and she made this post, actually, I just saw it today. And then I commented for her. You must feel shame a little bit to steal my content without doing any editing. Also, you need to thank me a lot to give you a free content without my permission to approve it for you to steal it. <laughs> I make it monetized in order to get money off my video. Okay, yeah, Salah, nothing was stolen, okay? Nothing at all was stolen. I monetize everything on my channel. There's very few things that I don't monetize, okay? I mean, members-only videos don't get monetized because they have already paid, all right? But nothing has been stolen, and I don't need to seek your approval. I don't need to put a link in my chat to any of your content if I'm using it. That is not a rule for fair use. There is not a time period of a video that I need to keep it under to be within fair use. All of those notions are false. People talk about it and they say that, but none of that is true. If you read the actual doctrine, the U.S. law, that doctrine, you will see that that's not the case. Nothing has been stolen. I didn't need your permission. 
monetized, it's probably not going to make that much, Salah. I mean, it was a four-minute video. That does seem to be something that you understand, though. An eight-minute video will get you what they call mid-roll ads, ads in the middle of the video. That limit is eight minutes, and then you get mid-roll ads. His video is eight minutes, four seconds. <laughs> My video was four minutes, five seconds, so it's not making much money. Don't flatter yourself that much, okay? ...was on live streams. Moving to the hypocrisy point, after I upload my gaming video reviewing GTA 6 game and compare it with GTA 5 without harassing or being obsessed with anyone like the whole shit actors, she stole again my whole video. I gotta, I gotta rewind that. I, what? Not harassing people? What? <laughs> What? Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Can you explain? <laughs> I'm gonna need a little more explanation. Because <laughs> this is just one big circus at this point, Salah. I felt like you really could have done something with your channel, but now I'm seeing that's just not gonna happen. I upload my gaming video reviewing GTA 6 game and compare it with GTA 5 without harassing or being obsessed with anyone like- Without harassing or being obsessed with anyone? Yeah, it's content. That's what we all do, Salah. We're content creators. We're not looking to harass anybody, or we're, we're not obsessed with anybody. Hey, Axelot. <laughs> like the whole shit actors, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she stole again my whole video <gasps> and other gaming channels video. It wasn't your entire video because I had to cut it short because it was a bore fest. Now, that's something that comes with time editing, okay? Because I watch some of my old, like, videos from a couple years ago, and I just cringe because I'm like, that was way too long. I let that part drag out way too long. It lost momentum. That comes with time. You'll learn that, Salah. You will learn that. Louisa Moon, welcome. Welcome to being a member. Welcome. Awesome to have you. Welcome. Welcome. So, uh, yeah, that comes with time. You, your video was too long. It was too drawn out. You didn't really have anything extra to add. And it wasn't your original content to begin with. And I illustrated that in my video, that you put in very little effort to promote this game. Now, you are a gaming channel, right? Are you a gaming channel or a gossip channel? I don't know. At this point, at this point, I have no idea. Actually, I'm going to put a poll in the chat and see what, what the general, what viewers in general, what do they think, okay? Is Salah's channel gaming or gossip? Gossip girl. All right, so we got gaming, choices are gaming, and gossip. I'm curious to see what everyone thinks. Because regardless of what you're doing, public perception does mean a lot. It does. Yeah. So if you are unable to see the poll, I know it's this weird glitch on mobile. The top one is gaming. The bottom one is gossip. So if you can kind of estimate, like if you can't see it at all. Yeah. All right. One of my pooches needs to go out. Uh-oh. Can you? Can you? Can you? So if you are new to the nest, you know, I, I do have pooches and, you know, they do, they, they love me. And by the way, by the way, Salah, 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 hold up, hold up. You know, there's dogs on the street of Kuwait. That's what I have, but they're from Egypt. I brought them back with me from Egypt. They were born on the street. Yeah, that's what I have. You probably look down on that though, right? Kelebelody, that's what I have. That's what I have, okay? All right, continue, right? Gaming channel, gossip channel, I have no idea what you're trying to do at this point, okay? But if you are trying to go as a gaming channel, I would suggest this gaming type content where you're promoting a new uh, video game to put in a little more effort. Put in a little more effort to get noticed by people who watch gaming channels, maybe a game company. You know, put in a little effort. Basically, you took someone else's video, put it side by side, their comments that they wrote on the screen, you read out loud. That's how unoriginal and uninspired your video was. 
and she add only one edit saying why you stole other content Salah like are you serious what didn't you are the one who stole my whole pets video <laughs> and whole Chantel's <laughs> videos every day was sit on your ass and being lazy just like the other tribe sit on my ass and being lazy again again with the insulting of a woman that you don't know I find that highly offensive and really it says a lot about Chantal that Chantal has been tolerating that level of disrespect towards women and thinks it's okay how much do you disrespect her and she lets it fly is that why you've become so loose in your speech because at the very beginning she said something about kick your butt and you kicked her <laughs> to tell her to mind her language. But now you're calling women morons, uh, sitting on your lazy, sitting on your ass. This is no way to speak to a woman. And frankly, your father should have a discussion with you because you are kind of a little boy, aren't you? To be speaking like this online to women, really? Really? A shit actors? Oh well. The zombies cannot see the truth, of course. After I saw her video by coincidence again, I left a comment on the stolen gaming video on her channel, and I said, And now you consider us stealing the contents from all of these creators you just previewed. Just like what are you doing every day, stealing content from Foodie Beauty channel with your... Okay, I'll spare you all that. I'll spare you all that. Big Mac, thank you so much for the super chat. I appreciate that. Uh, Chantal doesn't like women either. You know it. Mm hmm that's true very true oh yeah baby oh yeah baby oh yeah baby and that is the last voice that is so he he took the screenshot okay you gotta learn about this too salah okay you gotta learn to make things big real big on the screen because a lot of people are watching on their phones and no one's gonna take the time to zoom into this nonsense okay chantal wrote this probably yeah yeah. Now you consider us stealing the contents from all these creators you just previewed, just like what you were doing every day, stealing content from Foodie Beauty Channel with your laziness. Are you serious? And I'm not lazy, Salah, okay? Not every woman, Western woman, is like Chantal. I don't sleep for 12 hours a day. I don't have to lay on my side to edit my videos because sitting up is too uncomfortable. I go someplace every day. I leave my house every day. And guess what, Salah? This is really going to blow your mind. This is really going to blow your mind. Where I live, I own. I own. And nobody helped me pay for it. Okay. What does Chantal have? Is she living out of her car? Is she? All right, I do have to let my pooches out. I'll let him play a little bit while I do that. It's only going to take me a second. Laziness. Are you serious? <laughs> then after she saw my comment and she was desperately waiting for it, obviously, to show the people that she is important a little bit now because a Sultan Salah commented on her video in person and she said, Assalamu alaikum Salah. It seems like you need a little help with creativity and originality. You do. I posted this and the link. On December 14, Signs of Life, Salah shows Julia and Harry. You posted the day after our cute pets reveal, which is basically the same as mine. How dare you? Like she has the nerve to say it's her content. Mine? <laughs> so funny clown. You can just ask for tips rather than accuse others of stealing content. On other note, your behavior is not that of a respectable Arab man. Surely you don't act like this offline. Facts. Facts. Now, he is relying. The majority of girl world is not Arab, doesn't understand Arab culture, has been trying to learn over the past year or so. And I would say out of any chat in girl world, I have the most Muslims and the most Arabs by far. By far. By far. I own <laughs> is the new at least. I like that Santiago. <laughs> so some of us are very well versed with how just how culture works how the arab culture works okay and whatever you think of it positive negative there's there's both in every culture okay we're not going to just get into all that and discuss all that but one thing that is very consistent is that arab men behave like men 
they don't tear down women for no reason, particularly women that they don't even know. And Salah, I don't know if you are counting on me not having an Arab man in my life to check you, but I wouldn't be so confident about that. What is the meaning of this? And by your logic, if I am not properly representing an Arab man, then you are an extremely poor example for a Westerner. You literally made a video with my content. You have no business or room to talk whatsoever about stealing content when your whole presence on YouTube depends on this. Just imagine that your whole channel is based on stealing the content from Foodie Beauty and the Sultan Salah. Wait, is, is he reading that? He's reading that, isn't he? So who wrote, I mean, no offense, Salah, okay? Some things I know that you're writing and saying, and some things I know are coming from Chantal. Now that sounds like you're reading something. Content. You have no business or room to talk whatsoever about yeah. stealing content when your whole presence mm -hmm. on YouTube That's depends Chantal. on this. Mm -hmm. Just imagine that your whole channel <laughs> is based on stealing the content. Foodie Beauty wrote this with her pinky up, El... El Alepe? <laughs> she definitely did. She probably dictated it to him with her finger up in the air, middle f her middle finger and her pinky finger up in the air, and then say this, and then she's lazy and stealing my content, and it does sound like her. It sounds exactly like her. From Foodie Beauty and a Sultan Salah. This is what you are good for. <laughs> but don't take my word for it. Let's look at your channel, shall we? Yeah, let's shall, let's shall. <laughs> Let's shell. <laughs> All right. So welcome to the Are You Serious channel. This is what my channel page looks like. Most people stick with their home screen or just their, you know, their suggested videos upcoming. But sometimes it is worth just taking a look at the at the at any channel, their home page, because there's things on there that you may not have seen before that you'd be interested in. So yes, Salah, let's take a look. Thank you for the promotion. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Thank you for the free promotion. It's Especially around this time of year, I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. So you have 202 videos on your channel and 98% of those videos are basically the content of Foodie Beauty. Here we go. So let's take a tour on her. And what would be, what would be wrong with that, Salah? Do you have any concept of how Chantal's channel stays afloat? Have you observed that at all? It's reaction channels that keep her relevant still. Because there are many people who will never go to your wife's channel directly to watch a video. Many people. Many people say, I'll only watch her through reaction channels. So we keep her relevant. Channel and see her videos first. <laughs> uh, okay. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for, you know, really showing all my videos here. We've got, um, did Salah care about Chantal's health in the beginning? Because, you know, he was saying cheese donuts, you know, remember your diet, honey? Okay. I mean, that's worth looking back at, right? Trauma dumping. All right. This is something that your wife does constantly on the upper right there. Stop trauma dumping. I mean, that's, I mean, she's really into that. Foodie Beauty is a vampire. I love you, Chantal. I mean, this is all quality content. <laughs> Katie K, welcome to the nest. This is all quality, quality content. So thank you for displaying it for everybody. It's nice. Her whole videos is about us, literally. What? Yeah, you're going to need to learn how to use sound effects effectively because that is not, that's not it. That, and that's not it. I'm wearing one earbud and I just felt pounding. So, and you probably don't care that that happened to me, but you did have a couple thousand views on this video. So that's what your new viewers heard. You should also try watching your videos back before you publish them. That would have saved you a lot of embarrassment, I think. About us, literally. What? This is awesome. Thank you, Salah. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly. Look how much there is. 
I mean, you want foodie beauty content, okay? With editing, with commentary. This is, you know, if I'm if I'm your if I'm your type of channel, I'm not everyone's cup of tea, all right? And I don't I don't need to be, I don't expect to be. Anna Noodle, thank you for joining Nasty Bestie. Oh my gosh, welcome, Anna Noodle. Welcome, Anna Noodle. I'm happy to have you. So happy to have you. So yeah, he's putting on a good display of my channel. I appreciate that. Like I said, it's not for everybody and that's okay. That's okay. What? I mean, look at my body of work, huh? Not bad. My thumbnails are pretty good too. I mean, some of them could use a little work, but pretty eye catching. And I have deleted videos that your wife has deleted because she was embarrassed about something like foodie beauty feeding cats in Kuwait. And then she gets ice cream. I mean, look how much work I put in. I even download the little pictures of the Lulu ice cream to put in the thumbnail. I mean, you took a graphic from some professor webpage, something about hypocrisy being flying in private jets. That's that's the level of effort you're putting in. Okay, who's the lazy one? Hmm. Like you don't feel embarrassing or something? I'm not. Anyway, we finished the videos. Now we are heading for the live streams and let's see. Let me ask you a question, Salah. Are you embarrassed? Are you embarrassed? Look at some of these thumbnails that you're in. Look at this love and peace that um, document documentary that your wife did with that cringy music. Oh, it was bad. Aren't you embarrassed at that? Those are his sound effects? Um, Salah? No, that's no. Mm -mm. No, no, no. I mean, this is quite a. <laughs> it's taking quite a while to go through my body of work. Thank you. You wish you were married to a kung fu master? Oh, the fiend's gird. I agree. I agree. I mean, how many black belts does he have exactly? Do you know? Do we even know? Thank you, Gaining Gird. The fiend's gird. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Thank you. I mean, he does have a couple black belts, but I believe they are from a video game. A video game. So when Chantal threatened somebody with her husband having black belts... It was from a video game, not from real life. I mean, yeah, yeah. That's embarrassing. Oh, well, well, well. The whole frigging live streams are about us. Me and Foodie Beauty only. Hmm. Now I see who's stealing the content. Mm, yeah, you're going to have to stop with that. Like, you're going to get ragged on so bad by the whole community if you keep saying stealing content. You really need to learn a few things about reactions. You do. I mean, what's with the music too? What's with the what's with the nursery school music? Oh wow. You got a lot of work to you have a lot to learn. That's why I offered you my services. Just a little consultation, you know, like you gotta step it way up, way up. If you're gonna do this by yourself without Chantal. Mm. Okay, let's see her community posts. Yes, let's look. Even your community posts about us? Obviously, you are lifeless and want our life so bad, aren't you? <laughs> I am lifeless and I want their life so bad. Hmm. 
Well, I'm very much, um, I very much am alive. Salah, okay, as you can hear, I do have some energy in my voice. You know, I am sitting upright after all. And, <laughs> and uh, your life, you and Chantal's life, I can't think, well, I could think of other lives that I wouldn't want to live. Like I wouldn't want to be homeless. I wouldn't want to be, you know, I mean, God bless anyone who's dealing with that right now. You know, really, I wouldn't want that. Um, I wouldn't want to be in a fake marriage with someone from an entirely different culture, religion, and country, and kind of fake it till I make it for a year. A year. I wouldn't want that kind of life. And she thinks she was faking it till she made it, but she never made it. We were never convinced. So no, no, I like to live an authentic life. You know, it's not for everybody. It's not, but it's for me. It's for me. I don't need to fake a life. Don't deny it because you do. <laughs> Don't deny it. <laughs> okay. What is this? What is this? Is this stolen material? Is this stolen material? What is this? It's a quote from quote fancy. Okay. And the quote is from Ayanla Vincent. You have a lot of cojones for using a quote from Ayanla. You really do. Do you even know who she is? You have a lot of cojones. She would not approve of your behavior whatsoever, whatsoever. So this says criticism does not make you smarter or better than the one you were criticizing. Right. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It has nothing to. No, you're right. You're right. It doesn't. I don't think I'm smarter or better than anybody. I don't. In fact, the stuff you are critical of in others is the same stuff you don't like about yourself. Hmm. Hmm. Projection? Is that what you're referring to? You should check out, uh, it's a channel called Foodie B, okay, at sign Foodie B. You know, it's this lady, you know, she's got a, she's got a pretty messed up life in general, but, you know, people watch her because she's a train wreck, okay? But if you ever watch some of her rage streams, you will see the most projection that you've ever seen in your entire life. Everything that that woman hates about herself, she projects onto others. And it's very obvious. It's very obvious. Let me educate you with this wisdom. Criticism doesn't make you smarter or better than the one you are criticizing. In fact, the stuff you are critical of in others is the same stuff you don't like about yourself. So when you imagine that I'm stealing other content while I'm not because I do a lot of edit and commentary and add a lot of points. Hmm? And by the way, is he talking about himself? He doesn't he doesn't steal content because he does a lot of edits and commentary and commentary. What? Uh, what? You, you think this is edits and commentary? Do you really? Do you really? Come on. In most of the videos of my <laughs> gameplays. And there's a big gap between gameplay and new game review. Someone like you. I don't know anything about that. And I don't need to know anything about that. I'm not a gaming channel. I'm not trying to be a gaming channel. You haven't even figured out yet what kind of channel you have. Gossip? Gaming? I don't know. What does the audience think? Let's see. Let me take a look, Salah. Okay. Okay. So viewers in general in this community think that you're a gossip channel. 80% of the viewers think that you're a gossip channel. Uh, is that how you want to be known? Is that how you want to be known? Mm. As an Arab straight man, is that how you want to be known as a gossip channel? Like a gossip girl? Oh, that's embarrassing. We'll never get it. So I will not waste my valuable time to explain it for you. Mm, oh. Unlike you, just copy- Your valuable time? I'm sorry, but what else are you doing with your time? Let's be real. <laughs> what else could you possibly be doing with your time? You managed, you managed to stretch this out for eight minutes, four seconds, just to get that mid-roll ad. I, yeah, you're taking as much time as, as you need to, I guess. Copy and paste and stream snipe the other without concern that you are stealing other efforts. Be honest with yourself. And don't think you are an angel. Go criticize yourself first. Trust me, you're gonna find a million of mistakes that you have to be aware of it. Mm -hmm. I am definitely no angel. 
never claim to be. I would never think that I'm an angel. I mean, you must think that I think pretty highly of myself. I like myself. I, I love myself because I know exactly who I am. And that includes my faults and my, my deficiencies. I have plenty of them. And I do critique myself. In fact, every time I do a live stream, I go back and listen to it again and watch the chat because there's so much that I miss when I'm live and I want to make sure that I'm getting everyone's feedback. Jokes that I missed are like, oh, it's the worst. Like, <laughs> like cause they, some people are so funny and I miss it during the live stream. But I do that to better myself. I check the volume levels. I check it. How long does it take for something to come on the screen? And I go in and make adjustments. I critique myself every single time I do a live stream. And I critique myself in other areas of my life as well, but I don't talk about my personal life here. All right, guys, thank you for watching and stay tuned for pointing out the hypocrisy of another moron soon. Have a lovely day. Wow. <laughs> so he really thinks he did something there. Have a lovely day. Yeah, the insults, um, Salah, okay. Um, the insults. Why? Why? Oh, God. I'll spare you from that as well. My goodness. Woo. Woo. Also, you wish you were married to a TED Talker master? Oh. Okay. Fiend's Gerd. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. A TED Talk master. Okay. That was definitely Chantal. I agree. Definitely the um, the scripted content that he kind of fumbled with. Yeah. So now I'd like to show you his thumbnail that he used for this video. Okay. Here's his thumbnail. You know, thumbnails can be tricky when you're first starting out and you don't really know what's gonna, you know, what's gonna hit, right? They can be tricky. So I downloaded his. All right. And I thought, that's an interesting choice of colors. It's not very eye-catching. Now I'm just saying from a critical point of view, like objectively, not that the not that the thumbnail is about me or anything, just objectively as a viewer. I'm just, I'm not, um, I'm not drawn to this. And in fact, it was two hours before I even found your video. And I only saw it because people were posting it on Twitter. Because I have my, my, I have my notifications enabled for you, Salah. And I didn't get a notification. So here's the thumbnail. Now I thought, hmm, hypocrisy. A lot of text on a thumbnail usually doesn't work out. Hypocrisy is the art of preaching virtues while practicing vices. Vices. Now, I'm not sure if you're just, you know, maybe just not aware of exactly what that means or what's, you know, what's really the deal with that. I don't know. I don't know, Salah. I don't know how, you know, I thought, how did he come up with this? Was this a Chantal thing? Is that what this was? So you know what I did? I googled it and here's what I found. <laughs> he took this from a website, a website that is uh, funny quotes on hypocrisy and he downloaded this image. I mean, what? Originality, creativity. You don't have them. You don't have them. You got to work on this. I mean, what else are you doing? Really? Really? You downloaded this image. And do you see how under, let me enlarge it a little bit. Do you see how within the image, <laughs> I mean, it's laughable within the image. Okay. It's got like, um, it's got some wording right below it, like to credit the website. I have to blow it way up. And it's like something statistics, right? I can't even see it. So I thought, okay, did he actually edit that out? You know, uh, yeah, okay, right? Well, here's what he did. He just cut it off. He just cropped it off. <laughs> I mean, this is the least amount of effort I've seen in a while, in a while. And you thought putting some stuff up on a screen and yelling hypocrisy was gonna do it? No. No, not with this community, buddy. Not with us. No, 
No. You got the quote from another website. You didn't even type it yourself. You downloaded this picture and then cropped off the credit. So you're not even crediting the website where you got it from. You cropped that off. <laughs> I mean, what is going on here? What is going on here? The hypocrisy. So, um, so I went to the same website, okay, just to see like what else you're using from that website. Like, what's you know what's really going on, right? So, uh, here's what I found, and I thought this was perfect. I thought this was perfect. I view relationships as transactions, always seeking to maximize my personal profit. That does that fit? Does that fit or not? That fits. That fits. Perfect. Yeah. That's how you see them, don't you? Mm -hmm. Transactional. Is Foodie Beauty aware of that? That that's how you see your relationship as transactional? For your personal profit? Oh, not good. You are so hypocrisy. It's unbelievable. <laughs> Very hypocrisy. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm not impressed. Okay. I'm not. I'm not impressed at all. I mean, you couldn't even download your own. You couldn't even make your own thumbnail. Do you know how easy thumbnails are to make? See, this is why I offered you my services. Like, you know, it doesn't have to be this, you know, hacky. You're, you're a hack at this point. You can't even make a thumbnail. If you're going to have a YouTube channel, you got to at least know how to make a thumbnail. Let's be real. Let's be real. Come on. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a straight up joke. All right. So anything else on Salah that we need to address? Oh, yeah, there is. There is. There is. There is. I'm glad I uh, caught myself. There is something else I want to address. Definitely. Hmm. Let me put it on. Yes, this is important. Let me put this on the screen. This is very important. All right. So, you know, I flipped through his comments on his video. You know, you know there were a couple that were interesting. You know, for the most part, it's the Beezers saying like, yeah, yeah, get him, Salah, yeah, you know, it's kind of sad. But here's what I saw. This is, this is concerning, Salah. Okay, now I'm going to, now I'm talking to you as a Muslim, okay, as your sister. She is totally fake Muslim for sure. Because real Muslims don't harassing each other. And picking everything on them and judge them. Salah. In all this time, when your wife put on a hijab, when your wife moved to Kuwait, when your wife <laughs> prayed in the wrong direction, when your wife talked about Islam, when it worked for her, never once did I call her a fake Muslim. Not once. Not once. Never. That's not something that Muslims do. And you know why, Salah. You know why. None of us can judge what's in the other's heart. None of us can say who's a Muslim and who's not. You can review every single one of my videos and live streams and you will never hear me say that she's a fake Muslim. In fact, I've told people who've said that in my chat that we don't go there. No one but God can say if she's a Muslim or not. She is totally fake Muslim for sure. This is extremely concerning to me as a Muslim, period. But secondly, it explains a lot. It explains a lot to me, Salah, why your wife doesn't know how to pray, why your wife doesn't know the very, very basics of our religion. Just, the, just like two or three days ago, someone asked if when a person dies, do they become a ghost? And she said, she, no, when they die, do they become a jinn? When they die, do they become jinn? And she said she didn't know. That's something I learned before I even reverted. She didn't know. 
she celebrated Halloween. I don't care what source you look at from any medheb, from any sheikh, Halloween is forbidden. It's not to be celebrated, period. There's no way around that. Your wife said that it was cultural for her, and as long as she wasn't worshiping the devil, she was all set. That couldn't be farther from the truth, and she continued to say it. So I know you didn't correct her. Now, we know that your wife isn't the brightest bulb, okay? You know, she's not. She's not. I mean, we all know that here. It's not like, you know, it's not like a super insult or a big secret, okay? We, we, you know that too, Salah, right? So she's going to get some things wrong or misunderstand things, and that's normal, especially with something that you know nothing about, right? Something brand new for you. And she's only been Muslim, she says, for a year, okay? I mean... <laughs> I would say if it was like two or three months in, like, okay, she's still new. A year. A year. Okay? Not only a year of being Muslim, but a year of living as a Muslim in an Islamic country where you pick up things just by being out and about about the religion. Surrounded by Muslims. Her behavior and this is why this says so much to me, Salah, about you and why she is also the way that she is. Because if you are truly married, truly to me, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. I don't care. But if you are truly married as a Muslim, you are responsible for guiding her in the deen. Ultimately, she has to learn on her own and seek her own knowledge. But you're responsible for guiding her. She sits down and rages at random channels and some particular channels. Is that behavior of a good Muslim? I don't do raging. If I'm that emotional, I'm not going live. I'm going to deal with it by myself and then come on when I'm cooled down. I don't because I know how important it is to uh, put on a good face for Islam, frankly, right? I know that I represent to some extent for some people. And some people think Islam is like a very strict religion where everyone, you know, oh, you have to do this and this and this and this. And someone made a good analogy to me today saying that, you know, the Christmas holiday is upon us. How many fake Christians do we have <laughs> who aren't, you know, who, you know, they're celebrating it as a cultural holiday, which is fine, which is fine. But we don't call them fake Christians, right? So calling someone a fake Muslim is, is weak to begin with. But another Muslim saying that to a Muslim is one of, it's a, it's a deep offense. It's a very deep offense. And you know that, Salah. And you will go there. You will go there in order to defend your so-called wife who celebrates Halloween swears and curses at people, your friend's wife who helped her bathe because she couldn't reach herself and she couldn't fit into the shower, your friend's wife who helped to shower her. And she said that she was engaging in, uh, I don't know, I, I don't even want to say it, that they had, they had certain men living with them and that the wife was servicing all these men. That's, that's how she, that's how she repaid her. That, that was her gratitude. That was her gratitude to your friend's wife. And you let her. That video is still up and around. You let her do that. You didn't even have the decency as a friend to Allah to say, stop, what are you doing? That's my friend's wife. She helped you. What are you doing? You didn't even have the decency to do that. And you are willing to go there to call me a fake Muslim, which you know how serious that is. You know. I don't have to explain it to you. To defend a woman who will treat your friend's wives like that. Someone who you've known for years. Your Alat's wife is not some channel out here that you call a hate channel or a bad actor channel. I don't even know what you a bad actor or something. That's not, and these are people that you know that you've had personal relationships with and you defend her 
and this is what you come with to another Muslim? This is just, it really says a lot, not only about you, Salah, it says a lot about you. But it also explains a lot about Chantal and why she's not interested in her religion, why she, why she won't even just grab a, grab a scarf, just grab a scarf, you know, the undercap every day. Really? Is that feminine to you, Salah? You're a Libra. I know, you're a Libra. Appearance is important to you. Uh, did that look good to you? You didn't guide her on that even. You didn't even say, you know what? Instead of these all-in-one hijabs that she got at that store that she never wore, you didn't have you didn't have uh, your friend's wife, not not Allah's wife, clearly, another friend's wife, just or your sister, and say, you know what? Can you just show her how to put that on? You didn't even do that. Like you just don't. I don't know. I don't know. Why? These are questions that we've all had for a year. And Salah, I have to say, this has affected me as well. <laughs> you know, not to make it about me, but all of your nonsense and all of your wife's nonsense concerning our religion has been brought to my channel with people asking questions, demanding explanations from me as to why the both of you don't behave like proper people put religion aside isn't this haram is the question i would always get about your behavior her behavior it's as you know it's not up for me to decide what's haram and what's not they should be asking you but those comments get deleted right right so if you really want to be a reaction channel salah I would suggest, you know, watching other reaction channels just to get an idea of how they do things, okay? Just, you know, get an overview. Put in some actual work and effort. Don't just uh, right-click on random images and put them in your video. My God. I mean, <laughs> the late... I'm lazy? Okay. <laughs> I'm lazy? Okay. If you want to do it, you know, do it. Maybe, maybe it'll be more successful for you than the gaming, because that doesn't appear to be working out, does it? Not really. Not really. But I am wondering how many viewers you're going to get that are really going to be your haters. Now, every channel has haters. I have haters. You know, it's okay. It's okay. Once you, once you are exposed to a lot of people, not everyone's going to love you people are actually really going to pick apart, you know, things about you. That just comes with the territory. It does. But this behavior that you're that you exhibited in that video and just in this comment alone you're setting yourself up. You are. You are. And that's all I have to say to Salah. And again, Consider the green card, okay? It's still on the table if you want. You know, I do I do expect a lump sum of money, though. I do. I'm going to need a lump sum. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. mm, -hmm. mm, -mm. mm, -mm. mm, -mm, mm, -mm. Yes, because you are a clown, sir. You are a clown. <laughs> you think Salah has a crush on me, Christy? It's possible. It's possible. My feathers are pretty nice, you know. You know, I got these beautiful yellow eyes. I mean, it's possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, do you still want to do Chantal's video? I think we should. I think we should. We could watch that quickly. It's a bunch of nothing as usual. So I'm going to go steal Chantal's content so we can watch it. Okay. Let me go steal it real quick. This riveting um, content of driving down a street. Okay. I mean, really, it's... I can't even tell you. <laughs> if you haven't seen it yet. Ugh. Yeah, she drives down a, drives down a street. Um, shows us like some strip malls, things like that. And then she eats a mess of food. But not before... She almost goes into a diabetic shock from eating this candy bar out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. So, yeah. Let me bring that up for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh.
Oh, Salah, Salah, Salah. You have no idea what you're getting yourself into. But if you want to respond, you're more than welcome to. You know, I welcome that. You know, I'm sure other videos will uh, will earn your criticism as well. And uh, I would expect them to react also uh, to you. So don't have such a thin skin, okay? All right. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. It's the holiday season, and what better gift to give someone you love than a personal video from me they can keep forever and ever. Get yours now. And yes, I am Muslim, but I can still wish you a happy ho, ho, holiday. Yeah, you can wish happy holidays, but um, she is also wishing Merry Christmas in another video. And there is differing opinions on that. The consensus that I have found is, and that I've always known to be, is that we don't wish people Merry Christmas. But again, your wife really hasn't been educated in any kind of way, has she? Can you get me today? Hey guys. So I'm going to start my series on vlogging just around different parts of you know, my little neck of the woods here in Canada, you know, between different little towns in between Ottawa, Cornwall, all that. So I went to the Dollarama Hi. before I start and I got a snack and before I get really serious, I'm really hoping I will, I know. And I know you're rolling your eyes, but boring. I feel like I really want to have my favorite snacks from here. Some of them, one last time. Um, so... She is L-O-S-E-R. Got a big Turk here. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what are we, what? What's going on here, ma'am? What is going on here? Don't, aren't you diabetic? I thought. I might, maybe, maybe I dreamed that. I thought you had like a serious, um, I thought you had a serious health problem. No, you don't? I could be wrong. It's possible. Of course. Of course. I mean, isn't, isn't that, I don't know. So, uh, I did search for Big Turk, um, nutritional content. Okay. It is mostly sugar. Let me see if I, st oh, I think I saved it under Chantal subfolder food. <laughs> Which is a huge folder, by the way. It's huge. It is. And uh, it is mostly sugar. It is fairly low in calorie, which was kind of surprising. It was. Uh, hmm. Oh, pooch. This is my favorite candy bar growing up. Turkish Delight Lukum. It's chocolate-covered Turkish Delight. Big Turk. The hypocrisy! Takes me way back. <laughs> That's all it takes, right? So. It takes you back to what exactly, Chantal, right? She's, she's reminiscing. Are you reminiscing about the candy bar or about the married man that you slept with? Because his wife was overseas and she was in Canada. Was that the one that she slept with? Was that the married guy, Big Turk? You think he's in his 20s? Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe it's a different guy. Salah, I don't know if you're aware of this. There was a period of time where she was, you know, she was doing her thing out there, okay? She was doing her thing. Think of yourself in Pattaya when you were younger, all right? Except Chantal was, well, I can't even say that. I was going to say, but Chantal wasn't paying for it. She did a couple of times. She did. That's one thing you have in common. You will pay for sex workers together. You know, that's your business. That's, hey, you know, as long as the you keep the people safe and just don't be weird about it. You know, this, you know, okay. Really. But Big Turk, is this what she's, uh, is this what she's reminiscing about? Mm-hmm. That was the young guy that she paid for his time. Was that the guy or was that a Moroccan guy? There was a guy that was sitting like in the room with her and she <laughs> and she was eating something and the guy didn't want to eat because he's like, no, I like my food hot. And she was just and he was just watching her like eat this mess of food while she was live streaming. And then she was like, OK, do you want to go upstairs? I mean, the poor guy. 
The poor guy. Nancy Jennings, have you noticed that old eye makeup is still there? Does she wash her face? This just bugs me. It bugs me too. As a clean person with, um, you know, pretty decent hygiene. It also bothers me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, I agree, Nancy. It's, uh, it's not a good look. Not a good look. Are these expired or what? I thought I would show you around a little. Some of the places I like to frequent for drives instead of the long road. You know what, Ottawa, we have the long road in different areas. Well, I'm going to show you some areas I like to go driving when I'm around here. So, um, if there's anything you'd like to see in this vlog series, just let me know. I can try to accommodate you. I can't promise. But, uh, she can try to accommodate us. Yeah, I do have a request, actually. It's going to be coming up shortly. She drives right past a mosque right past so she's showing us uh, her hometown of cornwall you know i i i don't know i don't know if i'd be showing it off frankly but you know whatever i'm sure like some very hard-working good people live there you know there are places where good people live and it's not reflected in the appearance of the place that's, that's normal that's normal i wouldn't be showing it off though but um yeah yeah i would like to see that the air is dry so my nose is always dry and anyway a lot of things have changed in this area so yellow let's go put my big turk away Ugh. big turk dollarama but i can't do anything about that <laughs> So this is a core as I'm backing out of. This used to be Sorry, guys. the original Pizza Hut in Cornwall. All right. And uh, it's been a Pizza Hut for a lo the longest time I can remember, except for I think it's been a few years now since it's not. All right. I love the pine trees here. I was so used to, um, you know, palm trees, pine trees, palm trees, very close. So this across the way here, Value Village, Pet Value, Habitat for Humanity. I don't remember exactly what it was before um, Value Village was. Oh, you see the Value Village? Mm-hmm. Um, that, my friends, is where I used to go as a kid for spaghetti. It was like Giovanno's, Giovanna's or something like that, if anyone remembers spaghetti house <laughs> and I had a picture of I think a woman um, crossing her arms and like a cameo style picture in Giovanna's spaghetti house um, what am I doing I can totally turn right on a red light here <laughs> so I'm gonna do that now she's very giggly throughout this very giggly it's like I think she's you know she's happy to be home and everything you know okay it's fine okay. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I used to go there all the time as a kid. I have to slap my phone because my thing will show. Okay. Any non-food memories? Um, Friday Tail Scorpio. <laughs> right. Pizza Hut. And they had spaghetti. really good spaghetti and garlic bread. <laughs> we are reminiscing I about spaghetti. I guess spaghetti is a comfort mm -hmm. food for me because of, you mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. I saw someone comment that foods are comfort foods because they, we associate them with a happy time in our life. And it's true. I love this winter scene. You know, I used to hate the winter, but being in constant sunshine and summer and warmer weather all the time, you kind of miss the, it's, it's, a, it's a winter gloom that, uh, you know, <laughs> it's a winter gloom for mm -hmm. sure. It's a gloom. It's a gloom. Oh, oh. oh boy. I mean, this place On looks depressing. This Mary Brown's no offense, restaurant Cornwall. I'm driving by here now. It used to be an wow. A&W. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. For the longest time, A and W. When things change like that, when they've been around for so long, it's sad. <laughs> you know. Well, it's called progress. You know. Jeez, I need new windshield wipers, but you should get some. Anyway, mm -hmm. so now it's anyway, just those will never get changed. A little bit. 
you have that early winter kind of gloominess. <laughs> it's about 2.30 in the afternoon. And uh, it is I'm normal be speed. bouncing around mm -hmm. different areas, you know, of this country. Yeah. So while I'm here. Salah, you know, this is a this is a great example of your wife's content that people are stealing because it is clearly riveting, creative, action packed. You know, we're all just transfixed. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is like a whole chain of like budget hotels that we just passed. <laughs> mm hmm. I went out in public and I uh, went into some stores and I get easily recognized when I'm in Ottawa, Cornwall, in between. So now more than ever, it's weird. But Power if lines, you see me, don't, you grace don't guys. Say, hey. mm. And uh, yeah, as long as you're a respectful person. <laughs> mm. Oh, but like you? Most of you are. Oh, and you are too, Chantal. Very respectful. Mm-hmm. Hey, Cinnamon Girl. What is this? Floral Drive? No. Oh, no, I don't want to go there. Oh, yeah, baby. I've always just... I used to think that, like, trees with no leaves were depressing, but it's got a winter aesthetic to it, for sure. I've always just had trouble so with stupidity, like, just nonsense i can't stand it it's a pet peeve of mine and yeah but it's hard to just you know your and especially if your family is my family's not even really that religious some members but we they still celebrate um the holidays so it's not really a Christmas thing. It's more of a holiday season kind of thing. And on the left here, I used this bike trail all the way to Long Sioux. It took like a couple of hours, but it was uh, very nice. I did it with a friend and we stopped midway for ice cream. Are you serious? So that is all right. I was a kid, of course. <laughs> I could probably do it nowadays if... Uh, Oh my gosh, it looks like the trees are huddling. That's right. Like they're conferring on something. <laughs> but yeah, I could probably nice. do it nowadays. Cool. If, wonderful, um, fantastic, outstanding. Nice, cool, wonderful, fantastic, outstanding. All right, we're gonna just pull <laughs> You wish. Put my signal ahead of time because I love the trees. Oh, I love them. All right, so people, yeah, they just like to come and park, and there's a path over there you can walk down. A lot of walking paths. I love just spending an afternoon. She's L O S E R. I, I, you know, I miss driving, so I like to take drives. <laughs> I really oh, yeah, like to baby. take drives around here. So it's extremely annoying. peaceful. Look, this road's a bit bumpy, but whatever. I love it. Uh, what is there to love here? This looks like any place in America that has snow. <laughs> that was, I don't know, really? Really? Is this scenery to anybody? Maybe to Salah. Maybe she's showing Salah. Here's what you have to look forward to. Cold, gray, drab, slippery roads. Mm -hmm. Sharing this moment with you guys, she says. That's okay. You don't need to share. BB True, get out and walk. Yep. Yeah, there's so many walking trails. It's a nice town. Like, it's nice. It's Start walking. It's got a really... You can all it's suck got it. nice nature walks it's got nice parks really nice parks and many of them um trails it's close to ottawa it's got you know it's close to a lot of nice areas it's on the saint lawrence river so it's right at the border of 
upstate New York. <laughs> so, yeah. She's uh, so brave. So pretty. Honestly, I am so happy to be here right now. <laughs> Seriously. Wow. There's the St. Lawrence River down here. Let's go and have a look see. I love this. Looks like the a St. scary river and the movie river intro, is Nancy. Beautiful. <laughs> it's like a horror I didn't film. Appreciate it before. <laughs> But you don't know what you oh, got. Oh, let's not. Till it's gone. No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay. 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 Cinderella. The St. Lawrence in the winter is beautiful. Like I said. Yes. She's uh, so brave. There we go. She is L O S E R. Whew, it's windy though. So, so areas like this make it hard for me to be in between two very different geographical worlds Canada. Kuwait, so different. Mm hmm. And mm -hmm. use your I words. Feel conflicted. I feel torn. Hmm. You know, How so? Like, hmm. I love this and I didn't appreciate it before. <laughs> and it's going to be sad to leave it. But mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess ultimately for me, home is where the heart is. Aww. And as a married Aww. woman, it's a married woman. I feel like. Husband and wife have to take care of each other. Not being in your lives every day is really hard for me. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, mentally. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. anyway, let's keep going. Okay, yeah, let's go. Oh, what do we have here? Signs. We love signs. <laughs> it's something. Warning. Dam downstream. Okay, launching area only. We're at a boat launch. Okay. All right, city of Cornwall. Parking area. Awesome. Uh, this is content. Salah, take note. This is content. Oh boy, I'm on a slant. Oh boy, I'm on a slant. I wonder if there's a Loch Ness monster. Imagine if she slid right into the river. Oh, imagine like sh while recording. She probably wouldn't even include it. She'd probably edit it out. <laughs> like the one interesting thing that happens. Sorry, my iced coffee finished. She's oh. L O S E R. And no, not from Starbucks. <laughs> I don't care, Chantal, where you get your All coffee right, from. Go. Make it at Hello. home. Save some money. Alright, so this is a major. <laughs> we couldn't be so lucky, Joanna. True. Cornwall. This is Brookdale. Calm your tits, Hedos. You all suck it. You suck it, Salah. Okay. You suck it. Alright, I'm so about to rude. turn on Pitt Street, which is another busy street here in Cornwall. Mm hmm. Just waiting to turn here. There's a Tim Hortons as usual on every corner. Yes, there is. Like literally. All right. All right, we're gonna drive down pit. nostalgia just flowing through me but you know what i'm not flowing. as negative about it right nostalgia. now nostalgia it's not bad i have some good feelings now flowing nostalgia you know sometimes nostalgia is depressing sometimes mm -hmm. it's nice mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. nice right now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just being a kid and going to this restaurant uh -huh. that i'm going to yeah okay you know yeah okay so uh to our left Right here is a mosque. Okay, let me blow it up so you can see it. Not blow it up, blow it up, okay? Come on now, come on. 
I mean, if you're new, I th we don't do that. Okay, we don't talk like that over here. Um, yeah, she, this is a mosque to the left. Okay, so she's so busy traveling to some old Chinese restaurant. You know, this is something, Chantal, if you're going to show us your city, as a Muslim, I would expect another Muslim to show us a mosque that you're driving right past. Right past. Okay, this is Al-Aqsa Mosque. And uh, we're, we're just going right by it, right by it. No big deal, right? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Let me uh, show you some pictures of this, okay. It's a mosque right in Cornwall. That's correct, yep. Here's the outside of it. Make it big for you. Here we go. Yep, that's the mosque. Right to the left, right here. Right to the left here. Yep. She's got a mosque right there. Never even mentioned it at all. Right? I mean, we didn't see any mosques in Thailand. She never went to the Grand Mosque in Kuwait. One of my favorite imams and reciters of Quran is the is the imam at the head mosque in the in the um head mosque the the grand mosque in Kuwait, and she's never even been there. I mean, this is a famous reciter, famous, famous, and it was like I don't know, short drive away. So this is the name of it, Al Aqsa. Um, and at the bottom, I just blanked out their address and phone number because you know people, mm -hmm. like if people really want to find it. To harass somebody, they can do that themselves, you know. But uh, I'm not going to help them. She really has a tra one-track mind. Yeah, she's just heading to the Chinese food. That's really all she cares about. It's really telling. Really telling. And here's the inside of it. So, you know, she has one right in her own town. Right there. Alafasi, yes. Yes, human being. Exactly. He's on tour in Europe now. Nice. Yeah, he was the first like recitation I ever heard. And it was during Ramadan in Egypt. And I was like, oh my God, who's that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he is very well known. He has a beautiful voice. Yeah. So uh, this is a mosque that she's driving past in Cornwall. In Cornwall. So uh, what's the deal, Chantal? What's the deal? You have a place to pray. You don't have to pray at home if you have a mosque that close to you, that close to you. And you're you're dressed appropriately to go in there. Also, you could go in there right now and show us. That could be part of your tour. You're showing us your hometown. That could be part of your tour. You could just walk in there and be like, hey, I've just came back from Kuwait. You know, I reverted. Just wanted to say hi to you guys and, you know, like make myself known. I'm in the back in the community. Mm -hmm. No. No, just kept driving. Kept driving. Mm -hmm. We're going down by the water here. <laughs> and there's Jack Lee's on the right. Yep. Yeah. Classic place for me. <laughs> Right, Harpy. Park, right, Harpy. I wonder if the mosque is also a historical building. Like, what's its history and when was the mosque established? That would be content. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, you know, her content is food, I guess. Crappy food. I mean, this isn't even decent, you know? It's like, okay, it's, a no it's nostalgia. Okay. Okay. You know? Hey, Frank. <laughs> yeah, it's nostalgia, I guess, but... She's eating a candy bar in the car. She's driving on a very gray road past strip malls. And now we're just going to go to a Chinese buffet and drive right past a mosque. Really suck at it. Oh my gosh. I can tell by the way she's backing in here. <laughs> not it's not going to happen. Guys. Wish me luck. Oh gosh. Yeah, no. Am I going to do it? No. Nope. <gasps> I think I'm going to do it. No, nope. you're way out in the street. Like way out. I thought she was going to hit this car. <laughs> yep. Hi, guys. So I'm here at one of the longest standing restaurants. Now, a bit of history 
I found on a Cornwall Museum website. Really cool to see this website. Mm -hmm. I'll put the link here somewhere. Right. Does she even know about the original Alexa? Yeah. Yeah. And you can tell by the way her car is. She's out in the road. She thought she was against the curb. She's not. She could get clipped easily. I could tell by the way if you've ever par if you've ever parallel parked. You know, I'm not the best at it, but I can get it like within two tries. Yeah, I can. I'm if I have enough room, I can do it pretty well. But she's like, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. No, that's a good point, Lindsay. It's hard to drive when you can't turn your head. That's true. That's true. For you guys to see maybe in the description or something, <laughs> um, if you want to know about Cornwall's history. And this is this restaurant is from, like, I think 1978. So it's, um, it's pretty old. I'm locking my doors. <laughs> I always do that. It's pretty old. And it the inside has not been renovated, as far as I know. You guys will see. Um, I talked about this place before. It has not been renovated, I think, since the 70s or 80s. And it doesn't really need to because the buffet is so nostalgic for a lot of people here. It's very popular and a lot of people really love to come back here for the buffet. Um, it's not, wow, fantastic Chinese food. It's Canadianized Chinese food. And by that standards, it's very delicious. Um, so I'm gonna have things that don't have pork. And uh, I'll show you some of the dishes that we have here. And I find Chinese takeout. And I used to... Look how animated she is talking about crappy Chinese food. Really. I mean, she was probably thinking about this the whole time she was in Kuwait, this crappy Chinese restaurant. She says the food isn't even that good. It's, spe it's special for me because I used to come here as a kid a lot. And... Um, you know with family and it was like a treat and it was super cheap their buffet used to be like six something six something close to seven dollars for all you can eat and now it's like i think 16 to 17 dollars so of course inflation right but i love the fried rice i love the broccoli i love the chicken balls oh with God. sweet and sour sauce chicken, chicken balls wings. oh my gosh they have good chicken wings they're like fried garlic chicken wings chicken balls I can't wait. Are we eating chicken testicles in this restaurant? Excuse me. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this series of exploring my hometown. Loving now, it. I will admit that I used to have negative feelings about living here and got tired of that small me small town kind of mentality mm -hmm. and just wishing for... Guess what? You still have it. You still have a very small town mentality. And that's nothing against people who live in small towns. You know, if you don't have a lot of diversity in your area, you, there are ways of, of finding it. There are ways, if you really want to, there are ways of finding it. But you do have a very small town mentality still. You're very close-minded in general. Something bigger, like, you know. But coming back and reminiscing about good memories, which is what I'm going to do. Good memories, mostly. <laughs> um, it's fun. I'm having fun with it, so... Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I want to do some videos in Ottawa as well and some other little towns because this is like a town. Um, I don't know if you guys know like South Stormont, Nor uh, Dundas, all that. There's like little areas that have little towns that are kind of cool. So we have a lot. Uh so it seems like this married couple is really having a problem with channel identity. Like what is my channel about? You know, she's been a beauty channel. She's been a mukbang channel. She tried to be a travel channel now. And we've had a health channel for, you know, I, w I wouldn't even say health. We've had a, um, a diseased channel also, various disease states. Okay. And uh, she seems to be trying to get back into a travel type of vlog. And again, just watch a couple of travel vlogs and see what's needed. You sitting in your car talking about this and you admit to the audience it's crappy Chinese food you just have some nostalgia okay that doesn't make me want to go there the things that you've shown us so far of Cornwall I mean this little downtown area looks much better than that road we were on of grayness you know sh sh you don't have to include every every bit of footage that you record you don't have to put it all in your video you got to learn how to edit it down and just show the most interesting things because you and Salah are, are not video, you're not content creators. I'm sorry, you're not. I don't even know what to call you, really. You just put stuff online and you're very, very, very lucky that people 
mostly reaction channels, are, are going to watch it and, and disseminate it to the public. So, hmm. uh, Of exploring to do. Um, all right, so Yellow, let's go inside and get some food. Listen to her breathing. She just got out of the car and probably stepped up on a sidewalk and she can't breathe. Open Tuesday to Sunday, lunch buffet, 11 a.m. to 2.30 p.m., 11.95. Supper buffet, 4 p.m. to 8 p.m., 15.95, all you can eat. Well, that's probably the most attractive part of this restaurant to her. Open Christmas day, New Year buffet, all day buffet, over 15 dishes. Children 10 and under eat half price, 10% off pickup orders. Okay. All right, let's go in. And she put in music because she can't breathe. She could not breathe. We got two like kids like machines or something, both out of order. Look at the carpet. Now, you know, okay, it's an old place. They haven't renovated, but you know, you know, we got to be a little petty. It's a reaction channel, right? So at the doorway, look at the carpet. It's completely worn away completely and you know i don't know about you but if you look at the bathrooms in a restaurant if you look at the front of the house they call it and check out the cleanliness and how good it looks that can be a good indication of how the kitchen is and how well maintained and cleaned the kitchen is and i i would not feel comfortable here just from this alone Look at this white tape on the side of the cabinet with the, making an arrow. <laughs> Don't, maybe I should make this a little bigger so you guys can see more. It's like white. Let me zoom in. Look at this. This is white tape. <laughs> like, like, do they have to tell you like one way? Do people bump into each other and it's a real like, like traffic issue at the buffet? <laughs> is that why the is that why the arrow is there? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Standard rice pudding in jello. Great. Look at the face. She's thrilled. And the amount of filters that was on that happy buffet face. Does she look the same here that she did in the car? Not at all. Not at all. So she had a filter on in the restaurant, but not in the car. And she does have a little scar on her cheek, on the side of her cheek. I don't know what that's about, but yeah. Yesterday's makeup, clearly, you know, not even like makeup wiped off. I mean, at least do that. At least, at least if you're going to do something, at least, at least use a makeup wipe. A wipe. <laughs> use the air fryer for frozen food always. Yes, at least, at least. And like we said about Atla's wife. At least my wife takes shower alone and she can enter the bathroom. Yeah. Not I go clean. Exactly, exactly. He doesn't have to go in and clean his wife. You know, she can fit in the bathroom herself, herself. So, yeah, you know. Here's my beautiful wife, Chantal, who is as stunning as usual. So the fortune cookie says, others see you as a fine person with great qualities. Okay, well, who are those people? Uh, I knew y'all loved me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. What's with the eyebrows? What was the eyebrows? Like, is she get? you know what I'm saying? It looks like she's aroused by her two plates. Her two plates. Now, uh, other people are definitely going to look at this food. It kind of nauseates. I mean, look how happy she is. Okay, first of all. Filtered. She has a chin here. It's not just a big round face. And then we've got this, like, 
it's so dark and dingy in the restaurant itself. Some kind of noodles, a bunch of fried rice. I guess these are the chicken balls with some syrupy, sweet red sauce poured all over it. Crab rangoon, some like chicken wings or something. And then we have pasta, pasta. Damn son, exactly, Pateray. I gotta get that for a sound clip next, right? Damn song, yeah. We got this pasta. I don't even know what's on there. More chicken wings, chicken and broccoli. It's like, what, two plates? Is it gonna disappear? This is food aggression. This right here is food aggression. Like, why would you fill up two whole plates and bring it back to your table? Finish a plate and go back up, okay? I mean, that's that's what most people do, I think. Was she, af it is food aggression, because is she afraid that other people are up at the buffet station, like, taking all the food? So she has to just, like, hoard it up on two whole plates and bring it back to her table? Less steps, right, Jen? You're, <laughs> I'm sure you're right. Yeah, so she doesn't have to get up. Oh, God. Yeah. And yes, I, I believe you're right. Um, that that was just the appetizer DKG. And this is the only first round, Lindsay. Exactly. How many other times did she go up? Ugh. All right, you guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Um, they play copyright music, so I couldn't really talk, but just ran to my car. Anyway. You ran to your car, Chantal. You ran to your car. Listen, listen, you have a ton of health issues, okay? I mean, you use a CPAP and you have a steroidal inhaler that you're supposed to be using every day. I don't know if you do or not, really not in my business, but you didn't run to your car. No one believes that for a second. You got up out of your seat and you walked out to your car and this is how out of breath you are. Human being says if he loved her, he would be encouraging her to go to that masjid, maybe even call ahead and see if there was an auntie who could show her the ropes and introduce her to friends. But nah, exactly, exactly. I was, um, I was taking a course in another city after I came back from Egypt one of the times I went before I, before I finally moved there. And I went into a Middle Eastern restaurant and I'm like, hmm, what should I get? And like, I was, you know, I was on the phone with, um, with my former partner, you know, all the time anyway. So he, I called him and I'm like, what should I get? And he's like, uh, he says, is, is, you know, is there someone behind the counter, like right there? And I said, yeah. And he's like, hand him the phone. <laughs> so I give like, I'm like, uh, and I hand the guy the phone and you know, the guy's just like, I can, I'm just watching his face, you know, he's just like inquisitive. And then his face just turns like this big smile. And he's like, oh, you know, basically, okay, okay, okay. So, um, you know, my, my former partner ordered for me and the guy threw in an extra he threw in a dessert because I love Pespusa so much he threw in a dessert so I mean this is a way that an Arab man looks after his wife even when they're not in the same country even when they're not in the same country so yeah <laughs> says a lot I'm gonna end the video I'm gonna do more of these videos I hope you like exploring with me and reminiscing and uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hmm. Okay, then. Okay, I guess. I guess. I don't know. I think we're going to be hospital beezing before too long at this point. You know, we have candy bars. We have, chi I mean, Chinese buffet, multiple plates. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love Busbusa. I love it. Yeah. So, you know, I guess like... He gave me extra food plus dessert, you know, just because, like, I look like a regular woman walking in. Regu not, a, not regular. You know what I'm saying? Like, for the area, especially. Very white, you know, whatever. And then I hand him the phone, and it's an Egyptian dialect and accent, you know, saying, hey, my wife just came in, uh, you know, load up her plate, you know, whatever. Like, you know, like, treat her well. And he did, they did. So, and that's not even being in the same country. So, the least... The least he could do is call the masjid. Salah, I just gave you the name of it. You can look it up. Al-Aqsa on Pitt Street in Cornwall. Okay. You could call there and be like, hey, my wife is going to come in. 
you know, just what human beings said. Do you have, uh, you know, is there any uh, any ladies around that maybe could show her around and just like show her, exactly show her the ropes, just what you said, you know? Yeah. Like make the introduction for her if she's too shy to go in, you know? Yeah. Pave the way. But he clearly doesn't care. Clearly. And that comment that he left on his own video tells me everything. It tells me everything. Why he doesn't do that sort of thing for her. Why she is the way that she is with the religion. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. My wife will come in, tie her up for three months to summer down, Rebel. <laughs> don't let her go to that Chinese restaurant. He's just an enabler for her and her money and green card at this point, right? Jinx's journey. I don't even know. Susan69, he left, uh, he responded to someone um, and basically he called me a fake Muslim. Here it is. Let me, let me pull it up on screen. This tells me everything I need to know. Everything I need to know. She's totally fake Muslim for sure because real Muslim don't harassing others and pick everything on them and judge them. And in his video, he called me a moron. And said that I was lazy sitting on my ass. So. So. And as I uh, I said earlier, in the entire year that she has been wearing hijab, since she has been saying, I'm Muslim, I'm Muslim, I'm Muslim, when she pulls out, you know, how many times do you see me say, do you hear me say, oh, don't criticize me, I'm Muslim. Like, I'm open to critique from literally anybody. I'm on the internet. Literally anybody can critique me and there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, well, <laughs> but for her to say, I'm a new Muslim, don't, don't, you know, don't, don't critique me. You know, you don't know, only I know. And uh, she's going to pull that as a reason, you know, oh, lay off me, please. But I mean, it's just, I don't know, it says a lot. This comment says a lot. It really does. Because real Muslim don't harassing others. Well, okay. Okay. What Salah does nothing to support her at all, just enables her saying the things she's doing are correct and respectable to his religion too. I mean, yeah. And people have been dying for me to call her out as a fake Muslim. I'm not going to do it. I'll never do it because that's, that is not what Muslims do. And he is aware of that. He is aware of that. As Muslims, we believe that only God knows what's in someone's heart. No person can judge another person's relationship with God. That's impossible to do. So there is no fake Muslim. And, you know, you can try to tell people that. They're going to call her that anyway because they need something to, you know, to ding her on. But for him to say that about another Muslim is so far beyond appropriate. And it really tells me that he probably doesn't have any male friends that check him. He should be checked for talking to women the way that he does. He was responding to one of the nasty besties in his comments. Uh, it might have been just Jamie, maybe. And like he was he was a little getting a little snippy. And it's like, excuse me, excuse me. Everyone knows that you're Muslim. OK, you are representing us to an extent, right? This is your channel that people are commenting on. And you're going to be snippy with viewers. Some of my, some of the nasty besties that are really like, they're tight in the nest. In the very beginning, I was like a couple incidents away from blocking them because they were just like very, very critical. But it's like, I can take criticism. And now, now that they know me, we've like, I respect their opinion, even if I don't agree with it. Now they're like the, some of the tightest nasty besties. And I'm so glad I didn't block them, you know? They're both very thin-skinned, bald, barren, and bankrupt. <laughs> That's a great name. You were trying so hard not to get blocked, just Jamie. Yeah, he was nasty with you. It's like he would go back and forth, but he just can't help himself. And that is just a huge red flag. It's a huge red flag to women when a man who doesn't even know these women that he's addressing is so harsh. You know, that tells us a lot about Chantal and how much she tolerates in a relationship also, if they are in a relationship. Even if he's not treating her like that, which I doubt, I doubt, 
because I think a man like this would, um, I think a man like this is going to treat any woman like that. Murad called us dogs and a lot checked him. Right, carbs give me wings. Exactly. That's what they that's what they do. That is what they do. I gotta I gotta make that at the bottom a little bit darker because I can't really read it from here. But welcome. <laughs> welcome. Yeah. You're an extension of your husband, usually in the teachings. And reverting. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, she should know a lot more than she does now. But at the same time, I'll never call her a fake Muslim. I, I, I won't do it. I won't do it. But he feels that he can. That is really... I was shocked when I saw it. I was shocked. If his name wasn't highlighted, I would have assumed that it was like a cloned account. Because there are people who do that. Like people with a lot of time on their hands. So I would have assumed that. But it's his channel. His name's highlighted. That's him. Muslim or not, his behavior is unacceptable. Exactly, Joanna. Exactly. Yes. Yep. 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 Yeah, Chip Chop, people call her that all the time. I mean, you know, that's up to you. That's up to you. But you'll... Muslims don't do that to each other. It doesn't matter how you feel about them. It's, it's not even about... It's not even about, I don't have any respect, first of all, for him and certainly for her. So I, I don't, don't say that out of respect for them. It's not about them. It's about my relationship with God. That's what it's about. I know that I can't say that. It has nothing to do with these two people at all. He's threatened by powerful women, small peen energy, very small peen, night yurks. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. You're exactly right. Very small peen. Yep. Yep. She's just a fake everything. Her life is a lie. Every word she speaks is a lie. All easy to prove. Exactly, Joanna. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Susan. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I do try to be as deliberate as I can. And I have an internal sensor. You know, not everyone has that. But if I am especially emotional about something, I will not go live. I'll deal with it offline and then I'll, you know, okay, this is how I feel about it and I can present it. But no, I have more self-respect than that. Number one rule, Chantal lies. That's right. That's right. I don't care. But if he wants to go there, he's digging himself a hole. He really is, Marwa. I know. I know. I know. I know. Yeah. You've worked alongside many Arabic men. None act like this. None, says Bald Baron and Bankrupt. Yeah. I mean, I've never seen this before. And it's not like an age thing, you know? Like, I'm still in contact with some of my family in Egypt. Like, some of them are young people. Nobody, nobody would even consider for a second behaving like this. It's just, it's, it's very odd. And it, I don't know, it says a lot about his character also. So he could certainly 100% be a scammer beyond just wanting citizenship all the things that he said that you know they were spending money on in thailand do, were things really that expensive hmm, i don't think so i don't think so mm -hmm. chantelle will be telling us that she's still learning for the next 10 years right right Anne margaret yeah if anyone criticizes her behavior it's gonna be well i'm new i'm a revert okay i'm still learning like i don't know everything but I, I don't use that as an excuse. I'll say, I'll, I'll look into it and get back to you. Or like, hmm, I didn't know that. But I'm not going to give an excuse that I'm I'm a revert. I'm sorry. You know, maybe for the first two or three months. <laughs> Every Arabic man was a hardworking, had pride, bright, intelligent, and above all else, very well-mannered. He comes off as a low-born scammer. Gotha clock, I agree with you. I totally agree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Most Muslim when men would period would never act like this, Arab or not. Exactly. Yeah. 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 This is what she tolerates. This is this is her thing, I guess. That's her thing. Mm -hmm. You give her two years. What to live? <laughs> or for the divorce. A lot voice. At least you don't use Instagram and hijab sales marketing pages to learn your religion. Yeah. Yeah. Islam via TikTok. <laughs> to 
Sorry, Lenny has a lot of nodder traits. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she's basically making Salah into Nader 2.0. I've seen people saying, this is not, you You gave him a channel. You know, he had a channel to start with. She showed him how to make videos, maybe how to edit, I guess, a little bit. And now he's off and running and doesn't need her. And now he's showing his true colors clear. I mean, we already knew, but now it's far more obvious. You give the divorce until January 25th, Mr. Quinn. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Thank you, everybody who joined as a member today. I very, very, very much appreciate that. Thank you, everyone who subscribed today. I appreciate that also. Um, whether you ever join as a member or not, it doesn't matter to me. I value every single person who's here. And it's just being open-minded, you know, just open-minded. That's all I ask. You don't have to agree with me on stuff. I do appreciate it. Yeah. And don't worry about whether you get a membership or not. Truly, you don't have to explain yourself if you need to upgrade, downgrade, whatever. I don't take any of that personally. Everyone has their own situation. That's your business, you know? Thank you, BB True. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, everybody. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna take my dogs outside. Oh, did you hear that little <laughs> yawn? <laughs> you want to go outside? And then I got to do some shopping today. Thank you, DKG. Thanks for hanging in. Thank you. All the nesties are fantastic. Yes, agree. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>